tomorrow we'll visit with One you Life to Live's pregnant. John Leprino. Tina, you can't deny. You can't deny that you could possibly be pregnant. Now, when the trustees heard this, they thought it was okay. pretty good. Let me see. Let me see more. Play it out. Wisdom is this, 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 and I want to see your attitude about what he just said. John started the nonprofit theatrical educational workshop last year at the Women's Club of Ridgewood. He intended to have one class of about 25 people, but when he advertised, he filled two classes immediately. And every six weeks, there are more people anxious to join a new session. I like to think that the appeal is here's somebody who's working in the profession teaching a course. I mean, I, I know when I went to school at the University of Minnesota, there were professional people, uh, people who were acting at the Guthrie, who were part of the faculty at the University of Minnesota. So that was really appealing to me as a student. Deal with her for a second. Formulate what you're going to think, what you're going to say. Boom, get her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We do get people who, who want to see Cord, and uh, every once in a while, if I lapse into a southern drawl, they'll like, oh, there he is. What do you like so much about teaching? I think it's basically just like in my blood. My father was an educator for 30 years, and uh, I was teaching at a college before I got my break on Search for Tomorrow, which eventually led to One Life to Live. The anger is all good here, OK? okay. Now what we got to do is make each one of these specific. I always knew that I would be teaching in some way, shape, or form. And then, stop it. Boom. 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 He's afraid of you. You know that. John's advice to beginning actors is to relax. That's something he can do, playing chord. Hey, look, all you have to do is keep things on the up and up around here. Otherwise, I'm going to give you so much adverse publicity, and I'm going to close this place down, and people are going to stop showing up here before you have time to say, where did everybody go? After five years, it's like, you know, just slip into it, and then uh, just like the boots I wear on the show, they're, uh, they're real worn, they're real comfortable, and I slide them on, and it's like putting on a pair of gloves and it, it's just just good old cord and I get these incredible fantasies <sighs> what kind of fantasies mm. how is it working with a new Tina since this is the third time that they're having cord and Tina get back together uh, it's often difficult when you have the same two actors playing the role because you have to reinvent reasons uh, to fall in love with this person all over again these walks are just for you, me, and uh, communing with nature. Uh, communing. communing with each other. <laughs> yeah. By them recasting Tina, it's made my job that much easier because here are new qualities with a new actress that I can play into. That new actress is Karen Witter. We'll talk to her tomorrow at 4. If anybody could help, you could help. But I don't think that I can. I don't think anybody can get me out of this.